prime minister that is all politician that doesn't give a fuck whatever you say. So the sign was saying that all yeah, these good, politicians... Is evil. <laughs> what? The politician from the right side is like the good one. They are yeah. night and tight. And they, and they say about uh, the prime minister that is uh, uh, not uh, give a fuck uh, on the citizens. Right, so basically the message was that all these politicians are all shit, something like that? Except them. Except them. From the right. Yeah. I think it's somewhere here. But, but this is something that people don't understand, that you could be so against your own uh, you know, country, country, like this is very unique in the in the Middle East for a country for people to have be able to have a poster like that out in the open and be so against their own prime minister. Yeah, I, right. Uh, so this is this is not something that is you can do in the neighboring countries to Israel. That's, this is why Israel say it needs to become only because like the Arab population is not so educated. Uh, I'm with that. By the way, I'm recording this. That's okay, right? Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> now I have problem. Uh, uh, Is that okay? That was okay, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, just a second, Edna. Okay. Uh, but all I say, it's all, of course, it's only my opinion. I must represent. Yes. You can hold it. Um, so I, in this, in my opinion, that in this uh, time we cannot. Uh, uh, Throw everything and say, you know, you know what? We don't need. Uh, we do, uh, We can be like uh, everyone citizen a country. Like nowadays, only Jews can be citizens. Okay, or people that li uh, born here. Born? Yeah. Born. Uh, oh. Now. <laughs> that got very, that got very dark. Born. 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 Okay. Jesus Christ. Now there is some parties in Israel that say, you know what? Let's make one one state from the Jordan to the sea. Everyone is equal. Everyone is citizens, and it's okay. But because of the population is not well educated and not secular, most of them not secular from the Jewish side and the from the Muslim side. So in twenty years or less, this state was lost in this neighborhood. It's like be like Lebanon. Will be like Syria with a lot of wars, because if, if you are a, a religion country, you're going to be crazy like hell, okay? So I think, in my in my opinion, that it needs to be educated for secular uh, 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 way, that, for, uh, for example, in Israel, you can uh, say it's a Jewish country, not for the Jewish people, uh, it's a, you know what? It's, it's not a Jewish country, it's a, a state for Jews, okay? But if you are not a Jew, you are an equal citizen. So what does it mean that it's for the Jews? If it's it means that our our uh, our um, language is Hebrew, okay? Like in Lebanon, it's uh, Arabic, or uh, our culture can be uh, on the Jewish uh, heritage. But I, now, I, now when I hear myself, I understand the, uh, what you meant. Wait, wait, what do you mean? I, I will tell you what I mean. Now, I, now, only now, I understand the Arabs, Israeli Arabs, that say, you know what? I'm not familiar with your flag. Your flag has um, again David, the Star of David. It's not mine. Your uh, anthem is on Hebrew, talking in a Jewish soul. It's not mine. I don't. I don't empathize with anything uh, that uh, related to the country, so they have an issue to be uh, uh, citizens. Not citizens by yeah. the mean of the the rights. I mean uh, uh, loyalty to their country right. because everything here is a Jewish. So maybe we need to change to say, you know what? Let's take, take our culture and do it multi multi culture. Mm. You understand? Like it, we can uh, learn uh, about uh, uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know about the uh, uh, Arabic uh, poet, uh, culture. Culture, yeah. Uh, about uh, Arabic uh, people that wrote poetry or uh, books. When it's so bad that they don't know. I it. just think that culture is something that shouldn't be mandated by the government. It should just be something that as organically flows, and you just let it go in whatever direction, as long as the, the not. And by, yeah. and by culture, I'm not talking about 
you know, values. The values should be, the good values should be advertised always. But by culture, if we're talking about dance, food, and clothes, just let it, just let it go in whatever direction it wants. I just don't, I just, I just have a problem with the government, like, this is the government approved culture. Man, you know, that's just, that's just the part that I have an issue with, right? Mm-hmm. And language, I mean, the thing is, when, if you, if you're worried about, like, people with backward religious views to come become citizens well yeah you will have tests for values you would have tests for education you would have a test for uh, people that agree with a certain way of living and you you know based on you know resumes or uh, based on their activities and based on stuff like that not based on their heritage like you could still screen for that without without you know having a test for your jewish identity there is I'm not saying when I say like you don't need a test for Jewish identity that doesn't mean that we could just we should remove any barriers and that we should have no everybody is now welcome you could still have a very tough screening process without a Jewish identity no like in the US well I mean I don't know how tough yeah like in the US I don't know how tough the US maybe more like Canada before Trudeau how, how does Canada uh, re, uh, doing on a daily basis when one part is speaking English and one part is speaking French. I mean, it's pretty good living there, so it's uh, mm-hmm. fine. Yeah, it's like yeah. everyone knows the boat. No! Actually, it's actually yeah, that's one thing. I, it's very annoying because only Quebec speaks French. The rest of us don't speak French. But every time we pick up any phone, like all the instructions have to be in both French and English, even though like there's nobody I know in Vancouver that speaks French. There's some people in Quebec that like refuse to speak English. Like, yeah. They won't. They won't do it. Yeah, they're assholes. And they they speak like Quebecois, like not like regular yeah. French. Yeah, actually, that's a great example. Canada is doing pretty fine, right? So it doesn't seem like a big issue. Well, no, it is very interesting because in Israel, it was two official uh, languages right and now it's only one yeah well I mean they did they changed that recently right yeah, yeah, very recently. yeah. yeah I saw now, that the name. now it, in first it was like yeah of course we're a Jewish country we need to speak only Hebrew so the Arabs needs to learn Hebrew but it can be like see but like that now like every, mm. in this part you're speaking uh, right. Arabic but how do you connect with with like but, between the, uh, those parts Hmm. Yeah, so one of the ways that something that I've I've learned is the way that uh, immigration we got happens in the US is so much more integrated than in the UK. I mean, in the UK, they'll there's like there'll be these they value multiculturalism to uh, a huge extent and and not not pluralism, but multiculturalism. Like there can exist these communities where only this type of culture exists like say there's a there's a place where only Syrian culture exists within the UK and then you go outside of that bubble and it's uh, it's you know Scottish or, or or English or Welsh or something um, but in the United States there's a there's a Muslim neighborhood you okay. know near near my house but you go there and it's not a bubble no one is in a bubble And it's because the immigration in the United States seems to, at least the, the legal immigration there, has to do with integration and not just... So it seems that the, the immigration process, if it involves kind of a mandatory type of integration, like something that Armin was talking about, like at least the first step of that being testing for certain values, right. then you wouldn't necessarily have to push a certain identity. You just have to say, hey, if you can integrate and if you can live... with the rest of us who have disagreements you don't have to have like an identity and identity doesn't have to be in- endorsed but it's, how, why, it's why it's okay that our, the US can force the language of English and no, say I, I w- put your Arabic I'm actually I'm not sure again I'm not I'm not I'm not really uh, against having one language I don't think I'm, I was talking about should we continue this conversation yeah let's go like yeah let's go Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, 
cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.